Sir, sorry for the delay. Terrible traffic. I'm ready to present our report. I forgot to wear a skirt. Great. Samantha, this is unacceptable. You embarrassed me in the front of the investors. Can you do something right for once? Sir, I was in a hurry and I forgot to wear a skirt. By the way, XYZ. All this, you still have the other seat to mock me? You are just one disaster after another. You're fired. But who will present the report if you fired? Probably it's not the best time for a presentation. We will reschedule for next week. Wait, our presentation is ready. Well, finally, thanks to you, we lost our potential investors. Get out of here. But sir... I said go away! I don't want to look at you anymore. And leave my jacket at the reception. At that moment, I hated the boss. But I could not imagine that I would soon find myself in his arms. My name is Samantha, and this is my love story. So you need to change the exact <clears throat> Nice skirt. This jerk pisses me off. What? What are you doing? I want to take your revenge. I hate him. I don't understand how you can hate such a good guy. How you can say that? Do you like this jerk? Yes, so what? Obviously you don't. Even with all that money, I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole. Whoa, 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 you need to cool off a little. I suggest you head straight to the bar. Mm -mm. You know, I'm not in the mood for that. Come on, I can't let you just sit at home alone. Then I had no idea what this evening would turn into for me. Tada! Seriously, speed dating. You need to distract yourself. Do you really think this is what I need right now? Trust me, it's a perfect option. And in order to save time, I advise you to immediately find out where they work and how much they make. And we are just getting started our speed dating! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> and let's begin! Woo! <laughs> no wonder you keep forgetting your clothes going to events like this. Mm. Why did you come here? To cheat on your wife? I am not married. Oh, big surprise. Who would marry such a bore? My wife died. I should go. This was a bad idea. I I'm really sorry. I, I didn't know. It's okay. It happened a few years ago. Good night. Oh, where are we going? After him. Huh. You're smarter than I thought. Um, do you want your job back? That's not the point. Even if you don't tell me, I understand everything. Bye, Phoebe. Oh. <laughs> As usual. Listen, let's forget about this pesky speed dating and just have a little chat. Not sure if it's appropriate between boss and uh, subordinate. Well, you fired me, so I don't work for you anymore. Uh, maybe, maybe let's just have a drink together. Well, okay. That's only one. Yeah, sure. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's okay. Um, I'm a little embarrassed. I haven't gone out for a drink with a girl in the five years. I do this all the time. I even went on the day with the bartender. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> <laughs> um, unlucky in love. Mm. It seems that I'm doomed to be alone for the rest of my days. <laughs> <laughs> As am I. Um, after Caroline's death, I threw myself fully into work. Just uh, look at my daily routine. Oh, whoa. Um, One second. <laughs> don't waste your time. There is too much glue. What? This afternoon, I took a little revenge for my dismissal. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Billy, yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to you, I will uh, forget for this day routine, at least for one evening. Not at all. Cheers. <laughs> We lost track of time and talked the whole evening. I couldn't believe that the person I hated for so long could be so kind and considerate. When Charles invited me to his place, I thought he just wanted to drag me into bed. But the amount of wine and his sincere eyes made me believe that we had real feelings. Forgive me. For what? You were great. <laughs> About earlier today, I was too harsh with you. You can come back to work tomorrow. Is this because of that happened tonight? No, no way. Um, this is solely because your dismissal was really unfair. But uh, I have one more question to you. Can we still date? Yes. <laughs> but there is one thing. Ready for anything? Um, don't talk about it in the office, please. I don't want them gossiping about me behind my back. They will figure out it anyway. <laughs> they will see it in my eyes. <laughs> it seemed that I had finally found that man. But I didn't expect that the next day, What happened? Why is everybody looking at me like that? You're right. Charles is a jerk. He's been telling everyone about fooling around with you last night. At that moment, I realized that my reputation had been completely ruined. And Charles had broken the promise he had made. You jerk! You just use me for breaking rates in front of your employees? This is from the girl who jumped into my bed to get her job back? What? Where did you get that from? Phoebe told me everything. At least she doesn't hide her motivations. But I... You are no longer needed here. Please go. I didn't expect this from you. You didn't expect. <laughs> my heart was breaking out of my chest with despair and resentment, but I couldn't just live without telling him the most important thing. How could you think that I'm spent this evening with you because of work? So it's not like that? You are a narcissistic Maron. Do you really think I'm so shallow that I have a fake affair with my boss to save my job? I, I don't even know why I'm still here. I've been offered a better job than this. So why you haven't left if the conditions are much better? 
Because you can't do it without me. You won't make a good presentation and, and all the investors will go to our competitors. Are you kidding me? I can do just fine without you. Oh, really? Then tell me, please, how to turn on this dumb projector. You're unbearable and... And what? Keep talking. You have a severely over-inflated opinion of yourself. God, I, I, I didn't even know why I sleep with you. Because you like me. No! I don't know how could anyone like you. Well, why do you always have to put the last point in the conversation, Samantha? That's why I don't like you. Even a little? Even a little. Knock, knock. Please come in. Everyone's here. Phoebe, you're fired. <laughs> At that moment, I understood that love is complicated. But true feelings are able to withstand any insidious plan.